you guys. Well, t today is uh, May 21st, and we've been in full spring for a few weeks now, and I, I have not done any update videos. I've been kind of going back and forth on, on whether I wanted to do that this year or not, but because um, I've just had so much going on. But I figure I'll give you a quick update on just what I've been doing just today. I thought about bringing you along earlier, but I have other videos where I've done this. So um, I got some tomatoes in the ground. I was actually planning on doing fewer tomatoes this year. And for some reason I, I thought I was going to do that, but it turns out I actually have more tomatoes this year. So it's because I've added some hybrid varieties. Um, so I'm growing uh, one called Celebrity. It's supposed to be very disease resistant. I'm growing one called Fourth of July, which is just supposed to be an uh, early harvest. Um, one called Cherokee Purple, which is pretty popular. So probably most people have heard of that. I just planted these like two hours ago or an hour ago so they're all still quite droopy um and one called honeycomb which is like a yellow cherry but i'm some of them i'm trying just because the cherokee purple and the honeycomb sound interesting the other couple are also for disease resistance and I've been weeding and doing all kinds of stuff today, so trying to get everything kind of put back together. And this still needs work, but I see a set of cabbage looper worm, probably. But I've like pulled all of the brassicas out of this bed, except for that one uh, kale right there. It's just waiting for it to go to seed. So. We'll see how patient I am in letting it do that. And these, of course, it's the garlic and the celery and the yellow uh, onions, just jumbo onions. I got, I bought the um, starts from because mine are very small and not not particularly great looking. I want to almost say that this one, and this little sad guy right there, could have been my starts. But my starts, I put into that with the chives for sure. So, I don't know. But here's the strawberry bed. I got it, put all the irrigation and stuff in here. So, it's... I don't know why I put this one so high. So... There's like two fingers worth of a height here. But anyways, and then I just ran it across and then I ran out of elbows when I got here because I really wanted to put this down there, which I might do later. But for now, I just put a T there because I was going to run these two little, um, these little uh, quarter inch uh, drip tube off. So we'll see. I don't know. Okay. And then this is a tomatillo. I've never grown those before. And the tag says to grow two of them uh, to get pollination, which is interesting because I've also never heard of that. I hope it doesn't have to be two different varieties because it came two plants in a pot, but I could not separate the plants. Like, they were so, their roots were so entwined that I was afraid if I kept pulling, it would just cause one of them to lose all of its roots. So the rest of this, the rest of these are like from there. I think yeah, from there. Well, this one actually I think is this one is a cherry tomato that I had left over because I didn't get as many apolkas as I wanted. So these are all apolkas right here, and then these ones are San Marzanos right here, and these are San Marzanos from the seeds that I saved from last year. The Apolkas are new to us. Never grown those. And these, the first six, are just like our big dog tomatoes that have been growing here for, this is 
year four. And then these ones were like the next, I think the next six were meaty ones. Like just ones that I thought looked interesting and the tomatoes actually looked different. Even though they're technically the sa from the same seeds that I saved from the year before. But these, the tomatoes just seemed a little more paste-like. They had less water and stuff in them. So I was just going to see if they were actually different or if that tomato just happened to be kind of an eyeball. And then these two on the end here look a little sad. These are from the, the tent that I grew inside, but they had quite a decent root system. And the tomatoes were so sweet. They were like berries almost. So I don't know if it's because they were growing inside or if this uh, grown out of my sink. This is the one from the, the plant that uh, started growing in my sink. Um, I thought I would plant a couple of those just to see. And this little fella, he's a volunteer from last year. So he's some sort of cherry. You know, one of the, I think the tall cherry tomatoes were here. And he's one of those. And I think also at the end, I think there's tall, no wait, it was over there. In the corner over there is where I put the tall cherries. So that's what we got so far. Um, I was going to try to do peppers and stuff like that, but I ran out of time. Um, I've been kind of babysitting Rocky, my dog. He's not doing very good. He's been doing really bad since last year. He, this, he turned 17 in March, and uh, I know it's that tick bite. It's just gone downhill since then, and he just has not been the same and he's lost a ton of weight and lost almost all of his muscle. He's really wobbly. Um, his digestion is all messed up. He barely wants to eat and when he does eat he ends up with diarrhea and stuff. Like it's just it's bad. I think I think he's just uh, I think it's close to time, you know? last couple of days I've just been sitting and laying with him on the bed a lot. Um, just trying to provide comfort. He's sleeping right now, so I figured I'd come out here and try to film this. Sorry guys, it's really hard. Anyway... You can see like our little Concord grape. <laughs> if these, I don't know exactly how grapes work entirely, but these have tons of little bundles on them that could be grapes. I mean, I know that's what the grapes start out like. I don't know if they need to be pollinated, like to turn into fruits. I'm not really sure. These two little grape vines, I don't really, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna have to replace them because I don't think they made it. These are the ones from the box. The bare root. And I just, I don't see any growth on them. Still need to work on all these weeds. Like, they are so tall and thick. I gotta close this as well. Darn, that was tough. Um, there's a lot of weeds still. I mean, I've been working at trying to get these ones gone and I've pulled a ton of weeds through here because that all looked like the rest of it. It's just ridiculous amounts of weeds and I'm the only one doing anything most of the time so it's been kind of hard to get it all done and uh, you can see all this Stuff. These are the peppers that I grew over the winter, and the plants did just fine. And you can see that I have like some little peppers here growing all over them. Um, and like this one, like you know, they've done pretty well. 
You can see this uh, banana pepper here. It's gotten pretty big. And I think there's some others. Oh yeah, right here, which is more green, so I'm not really sure. And then these are just all of the the other plants that I tried from bare root plants. So you can see the raspberry, fall gold raspberry. Wait, that one's royalty. It's like a burgundy, like really cool colored one. Oh, and this is just ones when I was weeding over there accident and I was pulling the dead sedum stalks. It actually pulled up a few. I don't expect them to make it, but I thought, no, I'll give them a shot. And this is the kiwi it's actually grown quite a lot since I brought it home a lot a lot and this is what is this one? Oh, it's not in here I think this is the fall gold raspberry and this one is the blackberry it's a Navajo and then you can see the blueberries on this blue crop and then this is also a blue crop. Um, it's a blue ray, which I was worried about because it did lose all its leaves, but it looks like it's got a new leaf right there. And then here's a couple elderberries. These are just waiting for their forever homes. And I'm still planning those out. And these were the bulbs that I planted that I bought at the end of the year last year. And I mean, I don't know if they'll get flowers. They've clearly been chewed on, clearly. This one only has one, but I thought I better put them in the ground, otherwise I'll never know if I'm going to get anything out of them, and then they would just die off. So, anyways, this is the cilantro and the dill, and I, this is the purple cabbage, and then there's a little bit of Swiss chard in here, not much, because only a couple of them survived. See, is that the Swiss chard? No, that must be the green cabbage. I had one green cabbage. That's right. I had one green cabbage survive. Let's see if I can get this in here without breaking the few leaves off. This is just um, a cilantro that was in the house, but I brought them out here. Let's see. These, what is, this is cauliflower. So these larger leaves are cauliflower, and then this, the curly ones, are the Swiss chard. And then I ended up buying this green cabbage because I only got one green cabbage out of all of them. And then this is the leftover tomatoes from planting. And then these are the peppers. Well, here's the eggplants, the Black Beauty eggplants. And then here's some of the peppers. This is the only... I think this is the only California Wonder, is it? I think so. It's the only California Wonder I got. Um, I only got one Corno de Toro. And there's one banana in there. One regular red bell pepper in there. And then there's some... I got three jalapenos. I don't know where my other... I have another thing of banana peppers. Oh, it must be this one. Yeah, so I got like four in this one. So I'll have enough banana peppers, but then I ended up buying the six pack of, uh, it's called Better Bell, just so that I have bell peppers, because I didn't save seeds from last year, forgot for some reason. So anyways, and then here's, <coughs> ah, dang it, and then I've got some thyme growing, which actually looks really nice, and some rosemary. Um, here's some basil and parsley and coleus. And I think the lemon balm is gone again, pretty sure. Yeah, so I don't see lemon balm anywhere anymore. So that's what the third plant that was in here was. And it's gone. I don't know why I have such a hard time growing it. I might have to buy that one too. But... So those are sort of the seedlings right now. I'm getting ready very soon to start start uh, my cucurbits, like my cucumbers and pumpkins and, oh, look at the bumblebee. 
can see him. <laughs> Oh, I should show you too before I walk on here. So, this tree that until recently I thought was a uh, Macintosh apple that I'm like 99% sure is a pear tree. Look at this little, look at those little fruits. So, I don't know if they'll make it because Seems like last year the same sort of thing happened. They got these little fruits. They weren't this big, but then they got the little specks on them, a little black spot or a little indent like that also has. And then they rotted and fell off, and which I assume maybe is because they didn't get pollinated. I hope they, these got pollinated because they're all over the tree. And we'll see. And then when it comes to the actual apple trees, nothing else has flowered. I was going to fertilize them today, but I ran out of time. Because again, me being one person, it's kind of hard to do everything. And there's just so much more stuff that needs to be done around here. Like, look at all these weeds and stuff. Oh, and I was going to show you my potatoes. I was worried that so many of them weren't going to come up. But most of them did. So it looks like only a few of them became victim to whatever this is, creating this hole. So I probably can grab a couple from inside and put them in some empty spots. Because I got a ton inside still. And, uh, and we'll fill, th fill this full of potatoes. But they're, it's not doing too bad, honestly. There's quite a few potato plants in here. I don't know what that scraggly guy is. Oh, that's that thing that gets like a big dandelion looking top. It's weird. Yeah. Look at my little little tiny oregano and then all of this huge mint. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It smells so nice though. It's the little radishes. And I don't know, all these weeds. I scraped this all before I planted, but then they all germinated again. So, I don't know. I think these are like beets maybe right here. But I'm not sure. So, I'm just waiting to see what comes up so that I'll know for sure. And there's our lavender plant doing just fine. After I had to cut him back, I thought, he didn't look so good. But look at those chives. How beautiful is that? gorgeous and this is where these little tiny onions are will they do anything I don't know but how beautiful little tiny chive plant turned into this massive thing and had some babies over here so I'll probably be able to transplant these little three little guys out somewhere else eventually this is all gonna go away and I'm gonna get another bed. What I really want to do is get a row of them in front of these ones so I have another set. So I can do one for herbs, like starting over here, and then do one, and see, I'm still not sure, but I kind of like to do one for like carrots and stuff. And, like, I don't know. I don't know yet. But if I get three more, I'm 100% filling them either way. So it's not going to matter if I know right now what they're going to be. Because I'll know eventually. But, okay, guys. It's getting late. I have to go into work early tomorrow because i got a conference call i got to be on. Fun, fun. But I appreciate you coming along. For this ram rambly, this rambly sort of video again, I'm losing my voice like I'm a 12 year old boy. But I appreciate you coming along. I really thank you guys for for watching. Um, I'm gonna say a shout out to my mom and dad. 
because I know they watch these two on occasions and I just want to say that I love you and I thank you and appreciate everything that you've done for me. So anyways, guys, take care of yourselves and take care of each other and hug and kiss your little doggies because their time here is way too short. So I'm going to go spend time with mine. All right. Thank you again. God bless you. Bye.